Hi, it's Gwendolyn at Lifestyle So. We are going to do um, some Christmas tiling. And I know, shock horror, it's, you know, it's really, really early. But there's 32 tiles. And some of them take quite a lot while to actually stitch out. So therefore, you might want to do maybe one a day or maybe a couple a week just to get in, fitting in with any other sewing projects that you want to do. It looks like I've got an actually big round shoulder there, doesn't it? I just noticed that. <laughs> I'm not having that. <laughs> there we go. Sit up my more straighter. Um, yeah, so this is this is what, what the design I want to stitch out. There you go. It's really, really nice. Now, the reason why I want to stitch this out, I had a very, very close friend. She's quite a bit older than I, but she died a couple of weeks ago. And when I used to live in Bexhill, she always did cross stitch. Uh, she was Maltese. She always, um, Sylvia, she always did cross stitch. And we became very close friends. And she would cross stitch quite big pieces, Christmas pieces. Then she would have them professionally mounted and she would put them on the wall. So at Christmas time, she would take her pictures down and she would put these pictures all the way around her house. And it was absolutely stunning because in, in, you know, cross stitch, you can it's amazing what you can get and um and i did try and i bought um one of these designs <laughs> and i know some of you actually will understand this but um i couldn't remember what line i'm on what line am i on it's oh my god i, I was marking it off and then if you put it down and you come back to it and then i couldn't actually see the actual thing it's i thought oh you know, and I don't like the big uh, cross stitch stuff. I, I just don't like that. It looks like cross stitch. Hers did not look like really nice. So I was last year going to go the the bright um, um, tiling scene, uh, but I didn't quite fancy it. So I took the, um, I bought the smaller bright um, Christmas little bits and pieces because you can enlarge them anyway to what you want them to do. So I bought that section and I was gonna do all sorts and I never got around to it. Um, <clears throat> it's the pattern you get get from um, Embroidery Online. I think that's O-E-S-D. I buy a lot of stuff actually from them because I know they're always gonna work. Um, I bought stuff from, all over, from lots of other people too and sometimes it's a bit hit and miss. Um, so make sure if you're going to buy the, well, you have to get it from there. I think I don't, I don't think it's anywhere else anyway. And um, so it's called Starry Night Santa, Starry Night Santa. And it's by Donna, uh, Donna Glessing, Singer. Donna Glessinger. I think that's how it's said. You'll need 30 colours. So it uses 30 colours. And it's 32 tiles. Now, with the colours, don't do what I did. I live in the UK and I thought to myself, well, okay, I'll, um, uh, what, what are the uh, colours? Icy cord. That's what she uses, icy cord. I don't, I've not used icy cord um, before, but ordinarily I have the Anton uh, embroidery thread normally and because I, I'll do small embroidery things. And even if it says you use these colours, I don't necessarily use those colours. I'll use my box and think, oh, that colour will fit, that colour will fit. And it works perfectly because they're only small designs and normally they're for children. So, and they, they come out and, it, and it's fine because there's no real shading in it, no shading at all, really. So it's just, you know, the colours of the thing and over the top and, and they all work out fine. And that's absolutely fine to, to do that. But if you're doing a big tiling scene or a big scene at all, then you have to use all the colours because the colours that the designer has said, because it's all about shading. There might be three or four different colours in there. So you have like 
say, you know, your deer. And to get that roundness on the deer and that they'll shade it in and on the bottom, on that roundness, make his nice big bum, shade it in. Otherwise, if you use one flat colour, it'll just look flat. These are meant to look like pictures and to get them to look like proper pho pictures, photographs. So to make them look like it's a proper real thing, um, 3D effect, if you like, in your stitching, you have it, it all has to have different shades and all of those different shades create that design. Saying that, it was a lot harder than I expected getting the, 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 the actual thread. I First of all, I had try to get it in England and everybody said oh it's rather sold out or they're waiting for supplies to come well the supplies are going to come from the US I thought oh I'll miss that I'll, I'll go straight to the US um, I couldn't get them anywhere and normally it'll say oh you've got you, you know you can get a, a book a book a box a box of them uh, that goes with this design no now I'm sure OESD would have actually well I, di I didn't try that because the thread there was like $197. And I know I can get that cheaper than that. Um, so I thought, well, you know, I can duck and dive. I, I, I know I can get that cheaper, that box. And you can in the US. I think I've got it down to about £145 in the US to be able to buy that box, which is rough, roughly what I would be paying here. Um, but they don't deliver to the UK. So I thought, OK, I'm back to the drawing board now. I tried quite several different outlets to try and see, but nobody delivers to the UK. Um, and I don't know about OESD because I didn't actually, because that was too expensive. So I didn't go down that road. So anyway, come back here. I start searching again. And then I remembered a few years ago, I used uh, a company to buy um, a whole load of stabilisers. Um, and it's a professional company that does all professional stuff. Uh, stocks, S-T-O-C-K-S. Um, and they had, and I thought to myself, because on, on Amazon, um, oh, oh, that was it. That was trying to get to it. What I'm saying. So first of all, before I got to stocks, I thought to myself, okay, I'll go on Amazon and see, see what I've got. And individually, you can't get all the colours. You know, I needed 30, 30 colours. So I couldn't get all the colours I needed anyway. So then they had a big, like, uh, it was a, a, a see-through bag. I can't, I can't remember what you call those colours. Came in this bag off Amazon in the UK. And I thought, had a look at the, you know, I was having a look. I thought, I'm about to get most of the colours I need out of that. I'll only have to buy a few. And uh, so I waited two weeks for it to come from the Estates. And when I checked the colours off and all the colours I needed, I only had five and I got 35 rolls. So 30 of those <laughs> that came were no good to me whatsoever. I couldn't believe it. I thought, oh my God. I just spent £135 on that. I thought, well, I need, I need the colours. So I then had a look and found out um, stocks was actually... Uh, they had some icy cord. I thought, how oh, I have, because I remembered that they had thread as well. So I thought, well, I'll check it just and see if they've got icy cord. And they had, and they had a whole list. So I thought, okay, so I'm going through the list and I got every colour but one. And the one colour that I needed, I wasn't going to use anyway, because I am going to change up uh, some of the colours, the reds, maybe the whites and the gold, um, to the more glittery thread. Uh, that you buy. And I think I've already got these here. So these are all the different Christmas colours that you can buy. Um, they come from Japan. But I think the, yeah, these, oh, some come from Japan. But this one is like King Star. I think they still come from Japan. Or, well, I don't know. You saw that back to front. But it's uh, King Star thread. And it really is a nice, a nice thread. Metallic, that's the word, isn't it? Oh, there we go. Metallic. You see, it's, it, it really is a nice thread. And so I bought all the threads that I needed. A bit at a time, I guess, in two lots a couple of years ago when I was doing bits and pieces. You have no problem with it at all, putting it through the machine. So, so okay. 
I'll just swap, I'll swap, swap some of the, um, what I need out and I'll do that. Now, the stuff that came from the States came all wrapped. Thank goodness, <laughs> because I need it to be wrapped because I'm not going to use it that often on this project anyway. But I will use all of these colours. I've got a whole box now. I won't need to buy any of those colours for a very long time because you won't even use all of these colours on, on here. But the ones that came from um, the ones that came from stocks, they didn't come wrapped. So they come unwrapped, if you like. But it doesn't matter that these all came unwrapped because I have to use every single colour. So I have to open every single colour to do it as well with the ones that are wrapped from the States that I bought. Exactly the same stuff. I just, um, I won't be using those for a long time. So it'll keep them a lot fresher. And if you don't know about thread, you really shouldn't have it on display. It, sh you, it needs to be in a box and you really need to keep it out of the light. For one, you don't want any shading on your, on your thread. Two, it takes the moisture out if you're, you're leaving it out. So I've got mine in a huge box. This is what I keep those threads. They are all icy cord threads. But if I haven't actually said, I, think, I don't think I have said, this video is only a prep video. It's only to get all your prep stuff done. So some hints and tips about your prep stuff. Hence why I was mentioning all about the thread. And that, so on the OSD site, and when you buy your, um, your pattern, your embroidery pattern, you know, you can print out all your colors that you need. Now you can see a tick. I ticked all the colors that um, I bought and all the colours that came, I did a double tick because the one that came from uh, America came with a little uh, a chart, came, came with a colour chart. So I ticked all the colours in there that I had on the colour chart. And then when I got the other colours, I also ticked all the colours I've got there uh, as well from the other company. And that goes in, in there. So I can, instead of trying to find out whether I've got it there, having to search through all the colours, I can just have quickly have a look at the chart. So... This is a, a, just a great reference just for your thread. Um, so that goes with all of the thread. Now there's a few things that you also need. Right, oh, before I say that, your finished size is 32 inches by 40 inches. So it's quite a big tile. It's quite a big uh, picture, if you like. So you can finish it in two ways. You can finish it by on an overlocker all the way around. You can also finish it on um, a zigzag stitch all the way around or you can actually bind it. So if you want to just bind it and hang it up without doing anything, but if you want to mount it, there's no point binding it. You might as well just zigzag it. So the finish is up to you and how you elaborate you want that finish to be on the edge. I bought, it says navy blue. Well, this came and that's what they call navy blue, but that's not navy blue to me. That's a dark navy blue, but I'm glad it came because I like this blue better. But there was a fluke that I, it, the colour came because in the picture it looked quite dark. It, say, it does say three and a third. Um, and the other thing I need to speak to you about, which I always think this is very vitally important, is getting your bobbins sorted. Pre-do all your bobbins. I've already done five jumbo bobbins for this. So if you've got your small bobbins, do loads of your small bobbins. Um, so you can just put it in and put it in and go as you go and make sure your iron's correct because my iron failed me this week completely failed me um I've had it 14 years <laughs> it's a tank you know a tank and it's a spray and you can spray up and it's got a tank of water so it's not bad but it just it just went from being perfectly fine the week before to uh, the temperature gauge going off the off the roof and I had a new um, cover ironing board cover and it was still in pristine condition and by the time I finished ironing uh, some stuff a little you know quilting stuff it was actually completely burnt scorched out the actual quilting uh, material was fine 
but the app. So anyway, so that's all the pre uh, stuff done. Um, and then when we get going on the next video, I'll show you how to actually move, you know, get your fabric cut out, do the ironing, get all your placements right, put it through your um, computer, computer. Well, it is really, isn't it? Your sewing machine, uh, if it's a 90 plus, is a computer really. Um, it doesn't matter so long as you've got an embroidery machine that actually can work. Um, so it's only a guideline. You don't have to have a banana. It's just a guideline of your... The, the principles are all exactly the same. But I will be showing you all the settings on mine. So, it's, you know, if you have got a banana, then it's easier for you because you've got... Oh, I, I know what needle I'm going to put in. I know what foot I'm going to put on. These are all the settings that she's got. It's a bang and off you go. Away you go. And uh, so that's going to be a lot easier for you. So I'm so excited to get this done. And obviously, you know, a few at a time. F try and fit it in with your other stuff so it's not... You have to do these tiling scenes months and months beforehand because unless you're that type of person that wants to sit down and you can... You, you're absolutely a fantastic sewer and you just... Well, not even a fantastic sewing machine does most of it. But um, you do have to work a, a machine you do have to know your stuff after a while especially when things go wrong and you do it's, it's patience and it's time and but some people just want to get the tiling scene done and they've they've done it in like eight days or something they've got all it done they've gone crazy made four a day or whatever it is it's uh i couldn't do that that would drive me insane i i really couldn't do that um i love embroidery i love doing it but i couldn't sit at the machine all that time and normally three and a half hours four hours is um is my thing that's fine for me but nothing more because i just i run out of energy even though i'll get up and maybe have a sandwich or have some lunch it's uh it gets a bit much it's, it's quite time consuming so <clears throat> that's what i do so you need you know you need to get your um pattern you need to get your stabilizers uh your fusible you know two rolls of each of them you need in in stock and that's good anyway so if you didn't use it all you, you still have it so you need to get all of those you need your needles to get in make sure you've got you need enough needles that's what i had to order the other day oh my gosh i haven't got enough needles bang i went and ordered all my um uh a load of embroidery needles and he only had to and um and sometimes they do break so obviously they do break as you go along when you start sewing a lot needles break because sometimes you take your, your mind off and you haven't changed your plate or you know it takes a little while to figure out why is it breaking <laughs> uh -uh. <laughs> it's um and those sort of things it doesn't often happen mind you it, it very rarely happens but um they do and also i like to have my little these were cheapest chips on the Amazon and they're the best, 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 best little um, embroidery scissors ever. I mean, really, I bought these a few years ago when I first started, so five years ago. And uh, and I've got to find out where I, I've got to go through my Amazon account and try and find out where I got these because they're just the right, they're just right, exactly the right size, just a nip and that little end just nips go through so I just I like those little little things if I can find it I'll put put the link in but um, anyway I'll see you in the next video and hopefully we're you know I'll see you in the next video with this my next video may not be this so don't be waiting thinking oh the next video is going to be this it might not be because I'm doing something else that I want to show you too okay Take care. See you soon.